On September 29th, Cosmic Fury premieres and recently they had published a preview in which we could confirm the presence of the Dark Ranger. At that time, we were not sure if the person who was using the powers of the Dark Ranger was Heckel, but then the producer confirmed in a comment on a post on social media that it was Heckel who was using the suit. In this preview that they published of the new season we could see that the Dark Ranger was helping the Rangers in battle, but for those who know the history of this character, know that he was a villain since he touched the Dark Energem. This leaves us with a question and that is that we don't know how Heko became the Dark Ranger without becoming a villain at the same time. We know that in the end Heko became the Guardian of the Dark Energem, but we don't know if he could touch it without becoming a villain. To make you aware of who this character is, we are going to see all his history so you can analyze if he can really be a hidden villain in Cosmic Fury. Millions of years ago, on a planet called Sentai 6, there was a kind-hearted man named Hekil, who lived on that planet. In that place there was a dark energem which had an awesome power and for this reason there were many beings of the universe looking for it. One of those evil beings was Lord Arcanon, who was in search of all the energems to become one of the most powerful beings in the universe. In the planet Sentai 6, there is a sealed box with the dark energem and this evil being knows that he will not be able to find it easily, so he decides to destroy everything. Before destroying everything, he realizes that Hekil has the box where the dark energem is locked and decides to attack him to take it away. Hekil falls and the energem comes out of the box, but in desperation Hekil makes the mistake of touching the energema with his hands to protect it and as a result, the energem creates an alter ego called Snide. Now Hekil is divided into two different people and due to this event, Lord Arcanon tells him that he will not remember anything that happened that day. These two now evil beings, named Hekil and Snide, began to destroy many corners of the universe until they were captured by Sledge. This villain was a bounty hunter who fought against the Dino Charge Rangers to obtain all the Energems. In a moment of desperation to obtain the Purple Energem he decides to free Hekil since he had a human aspect and could trick the Rangers and obtain the Energem. This is the first time we could see Hekil and he was able to demonstrate some of his power, even so, he could not obtain the energem since another monster did it and Sledge sent him back to his confinement. After the end of the first season of Dino Charge and after the disappearance of Sledge, Hekil is released from his cell, but first appears in his snide form. This transformation is short-lived as the character transforms back into Hekel and asks to free all those confined to begin a new mandate and he does this by destroying a monster that wanted to leave. After many deceptions and battles against the Rangers, Lord Arcanon returns and imprisons Hekel, who is then released and recovers his memories when he sees Lord Arcanon with the Dark Energem. These memories allow him to understand that Lord Arcanon was the one who destroyed his planet Sentai 6 and that it is because of him that he has a dark side and a dual personality. Due to this, Hekel threatens him and tells him that one day he will destroy him in revenge for everything that he did. Eventually, Hekel managed to break away from Snide, his evil alter ego, and vowed to rebuild his world. He then helped the Rangers destroy Snide for good. With this action, the Rangers begin to trust Hekil again and he begins to help them defeat Sledge. After the destruction of Sledge, all the Rangers were able to travel back in time and return to their true home, with this, Hekil was also able to return to Sentai 6 and becomes a guardian to prevent the Dark Energem from falling into the wrong hands again. All of these events occur in the TV series, but in the comics, 
we are given a little more information about what has happened to Hekel. After the events of the Shattered Grid, a small group of rangers was formed and among them was Cameron, Kimberly and Hekel. The three of them were on a Prometheus ship and were talking about their lives and their past. Hekel begins to talk about his past, although this past starts after the events we saw in the TV series. Hekel had returned along with Zenoing the Silver Ranger of the Dino Charge, to the planet Sentai 6 to try to save the planet before Lord Arcanon arrived. This was a trip to the past that they were able to take thanks to the Energems and their mentor in the Dino Charge. At that time Zenoing began to help Hekel learn the magic needed to protect the planet and to keep the Dark Energem safe. He also told him to start enjoying life, make friends and experience things he could never do before. Hekel began to live new experiences, but his fear about the possible appearance of Lord Arcanon began to consume him. As a result, he tried to create a new morpher to control the power of the Dark Energem using Zenoing's morpher. Thanks to this desperation, Lord Arcanon was able to track Hekel and managed to find the planet Sentai 6 even though Zenoing had cast many spells to hide it. When Hekel went to warn Zenoing of the events he realized that Hekel had his morpher and quickly knew what he was trying to do. At that moment, Hekel pushed him to lock him in and with his power he melted the lock. With the new Morpher Hekel was able to become the Dark Ranger and went out into space to confront Lord Arcanon. Although Hekel was able to defeat Lord Arcanon, still the evil of the Energem began to manifest and Hekli began to be attacked by that dark energy. Zenoing appeared at that moment and sacrificed himself to save Hekel by absorbing all that evil energy until he died. Hekel did not want to return to his planet because he felt shame and guilt for the death of his mentor and the suffering he could have caused to his planet because of his fear. After Zenoing's death he stayed for a while listening to the silence of the darkness of space until he heard Zordon's call. In the events of the Shattered Grid, Zordon sent a message to all the rangers of all times and dimensions, asking for help to defeat Lord Draken. This was the message that Hekel the Dark Ranger heard and answered that call. Now that we know all his history, we know that this character is capable of anything and we must wait for the premiere of Cosmic Fury to find out if he really will be a hidden villain or if he wants to help the Rangers. Write in the comments your opinion about the Dark Ranger, like this video and subscribe to travel through space in Power Rangers.